Now, let us add a button onto our Spark page. In order to add in buttons, let me go over here onto this plus icon and let me go over here and you can see that there's an option called button. If I were to click on this, you can see that now I can add in a button right here. So I can go over here and let's say name the button. I'm going to say Twitter Tube YouTube right here, the, the, just like that. Or I'm, I just want to say, let's say for example, YouTube right here. And I can give a URL over here, www.youtube.com. And there you go. And I can press C. So once I do that, you can see that a YouTube button actually comes up. You cannot actually click on this because you have to go on to preview in order for this to work. So you can click on this to edit this. You can center align it, press save, and everything is center aligned as you can see. You can click here, you can uh, edit it, right align it, press save, and it is right aligned. Let me edit this, center align it, save it. I can add in another button as well. So I can go over here, center align it. So let's say this is uh, simply second button right here and I'm going to say www.google.com second button for Google All right so I'm going to add in this press save and there you go that's the second button for YouTube uh, for Google right there so if I want to test this out I'm going to go into preview and it'll actually come up like this as a button as you can see right here so I can click on YouTube and it goes towards YouTube as you can see right here so my YouTube has popped up right here let me just go back okay so let me just go back over here and the second button for Google once I click on this it actually goes into Google so that's how easy it is to add in buttons onto uh, Spark page. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.